Sabina und Michael, German Curriculum, Chapter 1, Section 8. This is the last part of the chapter, and it deals with cities and countries. It's a bit shorter list than the others, but we're going to start with Deutschland. Deutschland is German land, literally translated, which of course is Germany. Österreich, the word Reich means uh, kingdom or empire, and Öster is has to do with uh, it, what it what it would translate as is called Austria. Die Schweiz, it has a D in front of it, uh, like the Switzerland. Um, not really quite sure why. There are a few countries that have that. Uh, Switzerland, in any case, uh, die Schweiz. Liechtenstein is the same. It means lighted stone. Berlin is the same, and um, it's Berlin, and that's the German capital, of course, also my hometown, and it is in the northeast of Germany. München is Munich, and that is in the southern Germany, where the Oktoberfest is, and uh, Hamburg is called Hamburg, of course, the famous meat and uh, bread comes from there, of course, Hamburger Fleisch, which, uh, same, it's uh, Hamburg, Hamburg, whatever, and that is northern Germany. And uh, Frankfurt is uh, Frankfurt, of course, and that is in western Germany. Also, they were famous, uh, English uh, name Frankfurters, uh, or Franks uh, for sausages, um, hot dogs, whatever. Köln uh, is Cologne, and uh, there it's, and as the names uh, might uh, hint at here. They invented, but at least they're very famous for, um, you know, the male version of perfume, which is called cologne. So, um, and then there's Stuttgart, that is uh, pronounced the same in English, Stuttgart, and that is in southwestern Germany. Then there is Europa, that is the continent, which of course is Europe. Okay, and then if you're a tourist, you might do Bummeln or er bummelt durch die Stadt. That means strolls, could be window shopping. In any case, not a very fast walk. Then there's lauft und läuft and laufen. That means walks, walking and um, all that sort of thing. Now, laufen can also mean running. However, if you're talking about being a tourist, it's probably not. It's probably just walking. But they call it the 100 meter lauf. That doesn't mean they're going to walk for 100 meters. That means it's the 100 meter dash. And then we have ist. Uh, this is not the same as the word is. This has two s's because it comes from the word essen, which is eating. An est then is uh, to when someone tells you to eat. An ist is the present tense. And so eats and eating comes from the word essen, which is also the name of a town. Ironically, the Coca-Cola Company of Germany is uh, has its main seat in uh, Essen, and I always thought that was kind of funny because it said Coca-Cola Company GmbH Essen. I'm like nine trinken. That's drinking. You drink Coca-Cola, not eat it. But no, it was the town of Essen. Kind of a funny coincidence. Uh, trinkt then trinken, as I said, is drinking, and uh, that's it for this chapter and for this section.